Good morning, happy Wednesday. I am gonna vlog today, and if you can tell by this lighting, there is sunshine. There is sunshine in mi casa. Look at this, it's great, it's a great day. It's still really cold outside though. The noise in the back is my little kettle, so don't mind that, but I figured since I didn't vlog yesterday, what my plan is, is that I will, this week it's gonna be vlogging Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then next week I'll do Tuesday, Thursday. So that way I can share all of the workouts and yeah, that way it's a lot better. Uh, I feel a lot better about that. I'm also in a better mood today because I slept fairly well last night and I woke up on time today. I can't say that I like had the strongest morning, but I did wake up on time. I meditated and I took a shower. Um, so I didn't do like my full on morning routine, but I did get my meditation in. Later during my lunch break, I'm gonna be filming a video. So I've got to prep for that. Yeah, this morning I've just been kind of um, figuring out some finance stuff too, because there's just a lot going on. There's a lot that I need to do. And yesterday I should have vlogged, but I paid off my car yesterday and I have I have a finance channel in case you don't know, which you probably do because I talk about it all the time. But in my little Transfer Tuesday videos that I do over there, I paid off my car. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, there's just a lot that I need to do. And I realized last night when I was talking to my boyfriend on the phone that I really just need to like write down. I'm feeling overwhelmed by everything I need to do because it, there's like a lot right now. There's a lot of appointments I need to make. Um, with like in regards to car insurance, in regards to my car because the paint is chipping and so there's like a recall for the paint. I need to go to the eye doctor. I need to, um, I have an appointment on Friday at the gynecologist. Yeah, there's just a lot going on that I need to write down and make sure I remember everything and just get it under control because I hate, like there's no point of me feeling overwhelmed about it. Like I know I'll get it done because it's just how life is, so yeah. I just ate lunch and I'm going to film now, change my shirt for filming. And I think I already mentioned this, but this is gonna be on my finance channel. It's gonna be all about my car, going into the detail of what this actually cost me. And it's pretty shocking. So if you're interested in that, if you are due to uh, you know, get a new car, if you're thinking about leasing or financing a car, I suggest you go watch this. It'll be up Friday, actually. It's past three o'clock now. I'm so cold. Put on my workout clothes. Patula, this crop top is from H&M a few years ago. I have Adidas socks on, <laughs> but today I gotta do circuit training. I am gonna bring my camera down, um, even though this, I actually took this from Alex Fagan, Alex Silver Fagan, I think her full name is, and it's her circuit, circ <laughs> her circuit video that she did with bodybuilding, one of them, she has a couple. So I will link it down below. I've done it before. I really liked it and that's why I put it in this little program. I realized in my plan, I didn't write down like uh, repeat three to four times and I didn't write down optional 10 minute abs for this one. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go through this. I don't know, I'll have to see how I'm feeling. I'm gonna keep the weight fairly light, like probably 10 pound dumbbells and then at least three circuits, I don't know about four. We'll see because I know that like renegade rows are brutal. I hate that exercise. Uh, so I don't know if I wanna do four or if I can do four circuits, but we'll see. And then after that, I'm gonna do probably 10 minutes of abs and I'll let you know which video I do because I haven't decided yet. And I'm hoping that the sauna is open because I haven't been down to the sauna in a couple weeks. Uh, even though I was going like regularly for a couple of weeks but then they started doing maintenance so i couldn't so i'm hoping it is open now i already took my high volume and creatine so here we go
ridiculous. That was four rounds and I did it in about 20 minutes or so and I was resting two minutes between each set. So I would say each one was, each set took about three minutes but I was honestly slowing down by the end. So it was a little over 20 minutes. And toward the last um, two sets, I could not do the decline bench push-ups. I just went to the floor and did push-ups. <sighs> those are the worst. That's the worst part of those push-ups. So feel free to go down to the floor if that will help you to just finish it, you know? Um, just get through the rounds and do something, like drop the weight or um, do less reps or something. But I really pushed myself for that fourth one. I was going to stop after three. But I just was like, let me just pace myself. And that's what I did. Uh, so I still got through it. Now I'm going to do abs. Um, I'm not going to film it, but I'll link down below the one that I end up following. It's just going to be 10 minutes. And the sauna is not open, by the way. It has caution tape still, so it's broken. Or I don't know what they're doing. Some sort of maintenance. Oh my goodness, look at the sun. The sun is here. Hello and welcome back for today only because it's going to rain tomorrow. But it's okay. We'll, we'll take it. I haven't gone outside because I know it's like 20 degrees. But I got packages. Look how big these are. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting. I mean, I was because it's protein. It's my protein that I ordered on Monday. This shipping is so fast. This is the chocolate. Chocolate and cookies and cream. Okay, these are each over 20 pounds. So like, I had my gym bag. I know I could have thought this out better, but I had my gym bag and I'm not gonna be able to carry these big old boxes uh, like however many feet it is from the first floor to the third floor and all the way down the hall in the second to last apartment in the hall. So what I do is <laughs> I put it on the floor, put my bag on top and I pushed it like a sled, like a workout sled. Your quads will be on fire after that, but it works a lot better than carrying it in your arms because I, I would drop it. It's also quite loud, so I made like the dogs bark. <laughs> well, really it was just one dog, but it's really loud in the hallway carpet, so. Oh yeah. I want to try this strawberry banana one. I love their packaging. <sighs> They're so heavy. Okay. Strawberry banana. Uh, I prefer them cold. So I brought, excuse me for being out of breath. <laughs> I'm trying to, okay. Anyways, as I was saying, I prefer them cold, but since they just got here, I'm gonna put it in some ice. Please be good, please be good. Unfortunately, they don't have the cartons, like the um, cardboard cartons in this flavor yet but I'm sure they'll get expand into that soon. You guys know I don't lie about my protein. Oh, it smells good. It smells very good. Mmm, it smells just like strawberry banana. Wow, that's really good. Okay, hopefully it tastes good. Let's see what it looks like. Not pink like I was expecting. That's not even all of it. I prefer a straw. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, that's acceptable. That is acceptable. I am shocked. Oh my goodness. Okay, this doesn't taste like, if you mix strawberry and a banana together, it doesn't taste like that. It almost tastes better. It definitely has a, it's a subtle taste and it has something at the end of it. Like, oh my God. This is so good. I regret not buying this sooner. It's almost like a little candy. I truly, I don't know how to describe it to you. I'm not the best at that. But the, like the aftertaste, the taste in my mouth tastes like strawberry banana. But the whole thing just tastes like candy in a good way. Like it's not too sweet though. The, none of these are too sweet and that's what I like about them too. They are just perfect. Uh, like Owen, Please, I hope you guys will get affiliate links soon and or sponsor me at some point because like I promote the shit out of them. You guys know that. 
I've had multiple people tell me that they drink these because they saw them here. So uh, if you've been sleeping on the strawberry banana, try this one. Let me know if you like it. Guys, I know how to describe this. It even looks like it. Okay, you know when you have like a, a strawberry cereal, Kellogg's with the, the real fruit in it, or whatever, the freeze-dried strawberries, this is what the milk would taste like. That's what it tastes like. But there's a tiny, tiny little hint of banana. And I'm not a huge, like, I love bananas, but banana-flavored things, I do like, but not, I'm not, like, obsessed like some people are. This is, like, cereal milk. That's what it tastes like. I'm sitting in the same spot, <laughs> like, every clip. I'm not gonna cry this time. Don't worry. But I was in a lot better of a mood today, and uh, I talked to my friend, Simone. I've, I've talked about her before, back in, I don't even know when I saw her. November, maybe? Or October? I don't know. I, I, I told you guys about it because I think I was vlogging that weekend or something, but we had gone to grab coffee one time and just like catch up, and we spent seven hours at this cafe just talking the whole time. We didn't shut up once. And um, yeah, so I was talking to her just now for, well, not just now, like 30 minutes ago. Um, we talked for like 30, 40 minutes this time, but it's just because tomorrow we're gonna be doing a live chat. Uh, this will be already be up, so I can link it down below. Um, well, the live will be before this video goes up. But we're gonna be talking about money. She calls this little series that she's doing the shit we don't talk about. And she has it on her Facebook and sometimes on her Instagram. So uh, either way, I'll put the link down below, but I'm pretty excited to, I love talking with her. So I'm excited to just talk about that. And she's also like giving me the opportunity to promote my business in regards to that. She also gave me a pretty good idea of a business idea, <laughs> like, I don't need more business ideas because I am, my brain does not shut off. Like if you need a business idea, I got it for you. It It's absurd. If I could be a million people, that would be great because I have so many ideas that I just want to carry out, but uh, that's just not possible. I first of all need to make sure I do everything when it comes to what I actually do and I've just been struggling with that, so. I did want to talk about this book because I've talked about it before, The Brain That Changes Itself. I had just started it two weekends ago, and it is fascinating. It's really, really good. Uh, I'm not that far in. I'm here, this far in. And it's, you have to pay attention. I have been reading it before bed. I know I said I wouldn't do that, but it's more intellectual scientific there's some stuff i don't like because there's like animal testing that's just what comes naturally unfortunately with the brain and stuff like this but it is so interesting i'm so excited to talk about this book when i finish it and do a little review on it because it's very very good but i'm gonna end my video here and i will pick the camera back up on friday uh i had my oatmeal too i was so excited for that because i forgot i didn't eat it earlier in the day so that was my dessert and uh, anyways, I I think tomorrow I'll work out in the morning. I'm not gonna be lifting. I'm probably just gonna, I don't know, everything's gonna have to be pushed back because tomorrow is such a busy day that I don't, I don't want to lift. I could, I could in the morning, but I was thinking of doing like fasted cardio. But all right, I'm gonna go to bed now, read this book actually, and then go to bed. So I will see you in a couple days.